Hi guys, this is Robert Rivera with Trend Training Academy. This is the weekly review, um, the, I mean, weekly week wrap. I think this is uh, well, number 28, I think. Uh, I missed a couple of weeks, the last couple of weeks, I was kind of busy doing other things. Um, and not many consequential things have happened in those previous weeks that I have, um, that I had done. So uh, this week I spent quite a bit of time doing some setups. And so we do have some results and I think things are slowing down a little bit for the holiday. So we need to be aware of that. This last Friday was, uh, I mean, there was one opportunity to make a trade and that was it. Let's go ahead and review these trades, all right? Let's go ahead and share, share this screen. All right, and let's eliminate that. Okay, here we go. Um, this is the first trade of the week. This was GBP USD. In fact, it was already breaking out. This was a nice, um, I'm gonna say a short consolidation. It had already broken out. It had broken out uh, here prior earlier in the evening. And so it kind of didn't give me much of an opportunity to catch that before it left. So I had to do it on the fly, but I did notice that it was getting extended. So I went ahead and put that trend line, put the inner trend line, hoping that if it broke the inner trend line, maybe it would go to the outer trend line. And these are the results that we got, sure enough. And um, I think I think this is the one where somebody said, uh, you know, hindsight is 2020. Well, yeah, yeah, hindsight is 2020, but we do this every week, been doing this for a year and a half, and we get these results all the time. This is not something new for us. We see this every single uh, week. So um, it was a nice little uh, break from the top. Uh, it came down to the bottom zone. Then it broke out, did that little fake out to the top. I don't have here the stochastic. Perhaps the stochastic wasn't relevant at this point. I'm not sure, but we have the fake out. We have the return. We have the retest. We don't always get a retest, but we got a retest this time. And if you took it as instructed by the fake out strategy, then you would have entered as soon as this candle opened, which means you would have gotten about seven pip drawdown uh, on that retest, but then it dropped, okay? For 53 pips on that fake out, and then it retested nicely on the zone and the trend line to give you another 44 pips to the downside. That was a nice one. That same day, I sent out gold. Uh, this gold I sent out in the uh, community. I posted it in the community. I uh, hope that you can see this. It's kind of smallish. Um, but gold had been ranging here for a little while after this little fake out down here at the bottom that came back in. And so I anticipated that uh, uh, we could catch this as a break to the top or to the bottom. And in fact, I believe we got a break to the bottom. Um, this was the break to the bottom. Let me see if I can open this pretty big so you guys can see a little better. And so this little drop right here, I have to write it down separately because I didn't have it. I have to look it up. This drop right here on gold was 227 pips. 227 pips predictably to the 61.8 on the golden zone and then it bounced up again a nice another nice little win um pretty easy one this one after it broke out okay um let's see because of momentum um let's see that was on the 16th the 17th i had gbp gpu gbp usd same thing again it had come down rebounded from the golden zone went back into the zone so basically these this zone did not change from this other one that i had there before um which made it easy to draw i just basically adjusted it maybe just a little bit to account for what was going on that day and again we're ready for a break to the top or to the bottom and let's see where is it there it is uh, this time it broke to the top after a fake out to the bottom and the stochastic helped us out. Okay, so here's the break down the fake out. Okay, how do we know it's a fake out? Because the next candle went back in, all right? So this is our signal candle after it goes back in. It even gives us a nice little retest. Um, that's what? Uh, that retest is, uh, what, three, four pips drawdown if you got that drawdown right there. And it took off, okay, for 61 pips. Again, the fake out payout. Um, I strongly recommend you folks to be checking out that fake out strategy. It's in the beginner section near the end of the videos. Um, it is very powerful, guys. I think we're 17 or 18 now and oh. I mean, if we count, well, I can't count the Friday ones because those were more reversals than fake outs. I'll show you that here in just a minute. But um, you can use it as a reversal strategy or you can use it as a fake out strategy, okay? If, if the principle remains the same. Uh, I think that you will be benefited in these times of uh, very choppy waters um, because once it breaks out, once you get a strong impulse as of late because of what's going on in the economy, what's going on in the politics and everything else and the end of the year, as soon as you get an impulse, you get a 
reversal, okay? You get a drawback and usually you can catch these nice little move to the upside. And remember, as I stated in that strategy, if it fakes out to the bottom, it will seek to go to the top zone. And the top zone is usually where I take profit. This thing just kept going. 61 pips. All right. That was UBP USD on the 17th. I skipped the 18th. I did not do anything because Joe had sent two, I think, that day. Um, this is on the 19th. On the 19th, we have, again, ascending. Uh, we, we take notice of the fact that it is still bullish, even though it's been having all these moves to the downside. It's still bullish. Um, we mark that trend line in case it breaks to the upside. We mark the bottom trend line. This bottom trend line was from the four hour. So it's a powerful one also to pay attention to. And let's see, this is what we got the next day. I mean, yeah, that same night. Um, it broke down to the bottom. A nice little break with retest broke. Okay, retested, dropped 27 pips on that. Then again, the stochastic gave us a good entry to the, to the top. Um, if we didn't catch it from right here, which is a golden zone, right? It's bouncing at the golden zone, which is expected. But um, again, if we don't catch it here, perhaps, well, then we catch it as it enters, right? It gave us an entry, it gave us a pullback, and it jumped up for 37 pips. Um, and then if you didn't catch any of those, then during the New York, you could have caught this drop, this breakout for the 31, 36 pips. I did not count these in the final numbers, just the first couple. Okay, that was the 19th. Let's go to the last day of the week, and I sent out GBP CAD and GBP USD. I sent the GBP CAD because the GBP CAD was looking better than GBP USD. Uh, as Joe has mentioned, not every day you're going to get a setup. Uh, GBP USD had already pretty much broken out or it was about to broke out, break out. Um, and perhaps we could have caught a fake out on that one. But this one was still within range that we could catch if it gave us a breakout or a fake out. And so even though it had broken out of the trend line, it was running into the zone. So again, remember that. And this is not really a trend line. This is a trend line and this is just to create the wedge just so you can see the wedge happening. Um, it was pushing up to the upside, but that doesn't mean it's going to continue up, especially because it's in the area where it's extended already if you, if you were looking at the bigger picture. And so this is what we ended up with. Sure enough, it faked like it was going to go up. Instead, it came down. All right. If you were using the stochastic as a reversal in this case, because this is not really a fake out, fake out. It didn't really go all the way out. Um, but if you were using it as a reversal um, strategy, you would have caught 30 pips on that downside. And then GBP USD did the similar thing. OK, it pushed up like it was going to break out. As soon as I saw this little candle right there, that right there told me what to do. And I entered a sell. OK, that little evening star right there at the zone. It's not just because it's an evening star. It's an evening star at the zone. We already know that price is extended. And here's what we got. <clears throat> I think I had to endure a little bit of drawdown there, but then it dropped, okay? 28 pips, uh, very nice trade. That was an easy trade. And by the way, after that, that was it. That's all GBP and USD and GBP Canada gave. The rest of the time, it was just choppy here in the middle, faking to the top, faking to the bottom. It was just very, very choppy. The only real trade of the night was this first one. Uh, I think that was around 1.30 or 2 a.m. Um, and that was it. And in these choppy waters, I recommend folks that you, if you win your first trade, get out, you know, go home. If you, if you lose your first trade and win the second one, get out, go home. If you lose your two trades, get out and go home. Um, it, it's just too choppy. The market is too choppy and we haven't gotten real clear, um, uh, breakouts with retest. We had a few, but not very many. Uh, and the total numbers for the week without gold, without gold, we had 278 pips on four setups. Uh, that accounts for about 70 pips per setup. And on those setups, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades for about 40 pips per trade. We only had 13 pip total drawdown on those, okay? That gold um, alone was 227 pips, so added to that, that's 500 pips for the week if we would have been able to maximize those. Obviously, we don't hardly ever maximize, but that's just to point out the potential in these setups. When, when I say that these setups give about 50 pips per trade, uh, they do and consistently so. All right, let's go take a look at the bigger picture now for the week. Let's start with gold. 
Let's go and start with Gold. I'm gonna to try to do this quickly because we got family coming over. All right, so basically what we take notice of, and this is the weekly, guys, is that um, even though it is retracing, right? This is just a tiny little retracement on this huge move. It hasn't even reached the golden zone. The 50 is, is coming up strong. This is the 200 also, the stochastic is at the bottom. Um, this looks like a very bullish pennant, okay? Gold could be going for new highs. And of course, why not? If, if the feds are going to let the um, inflation continue to increase, then the value of the dollar is gonna to continue to go down. And, um, you know, companies, uh, I'm gonna say, the economy would rather have their companies uh, being productive, doing well than the value of the dollar. So um, we are, may be seeing new highs. And again, this is basically the, I think this is the 38.2. I think this is the 38.2. It hasn't even come down below the 38.2 of this move. And um, the golden zone is looming. Basically, if it drops, it could drop here to bounce and go up. But I'm anticipating it could just start going up from here. It may wedge here a little longer <clears throat> and then break. All right, I'm looking to have a test of the highs, at least. If What I see is this, if it, if it breaks from here, a move to the upside is gonna see a retest of this area right here, all right? And then after that, it'll see a retest of that area up there. No matter which one you're looking at, you're looking at a whole bunch of pips, guys. You're looking at uh, 950 pips there, and further up, uh, almost 1,700 pips, okay? That's a ton, that's a ton. Look out for that, that's gonna happen. But of course, also, the spread was really bad. The spread, when I entered that gold setup early in the week, it was six pips. That's just way too much, especially on gold, that's way too much. So as soon as it went my way, it went my way 16 pips, I, I, I got out. Out of those 16 pips, I only got 10. Because again, the spread, right, six pips. So um, beware of that, okay? Before entering your trade, always make sure that the spread is in your favor. That spread is way too much, especially on gold, because gold is already risky. By adding those extra pips of spread, you're adding risk to your, to your setup, and that may invalidate your strategy, all right? So that was gold. Uh, GP NZD. I know we got several people trading GP NZD, and I'm sorry for this may be confusing to uh, the older to the younger folks, but these are zones where price has reversed before, and I find them significant because when this thing takes off, it can take off pretty violently. All right, so <clears throat> we have been watching this channel going up since 2016. Not that I've been around since 2016, but this has been going on since 2016. I think it goes up to the top, comes down to the bottom, goes up to the top, comes down to the bottom. It's at the bottom now. Okay, where can it go? To the top, right? It can go to the top. But here's the situation. It is in a downtrend. It is in a downtrend at the moment, and it is strongly in the downtrend, all right? It is at support, though, okay? So you could perhaps catch this if it gives you a signal for a buy, but the stochastic is showing us also it can still go further down. And this stochastic showing me strong, strong, uh, how can I say, move to the downside and still showing a possibility of going further down will cause me to pause, okay? If it does break here, where can it go? Here, all right? That is the next area down here, all right? So that's where it could go. But if it shows you a bounce, you could take it, I would take it no further than that line right there. I wouldn't take it further than that line right there. Well, that's already, let's see, that's already, uh, oops, what happened? Let's go back. There you go. Okay, that's already 300 pips. Okay, that's not bad. 300 pips, it's not, not, not too shabby there. If it breaks that, then I expect it to go at least to the 50, that's 755 pips, and perhaps this zone up here where it rejected from before, 900 pips. All right, just remember on GN that the, that the overall move is still bearish, still bearish, okay? It came down, tested once, came down, tested twice, came down, tested the third time, perhaps it will bounce, okay? but it could also break down before, like it did here, like it did here, and test the low, 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 before heading back up, right? Just a word of caution on GN. That one, hmm, that one is, is testy, uh, is testy, okay. That was GN. G Canada, G Canada seems bullish to me. GP Canada is bullish, of course, from this, but um, it, it's ranging, right? It's within this range, but it is bullish, it's pushing up. I went to the daily on this one, I believe. Yep, and it showed still 
an inner trend line from the outer trend line, all right? Can it reverse here? Yeah, it could. There is resistance here. There is some resistance there. Okay, if it breaks from there, then it could go for a while, all right? The more likely scenario, I think, is a, uh, a reversal from here, given the stochastic. Um, that's about 200 pips to the downside. Your stochastic is overbought right here. If it can break to the top, if it can break, it needs a retest, and then it may hit only 150 pips to the top. Okay, so there's more pips to the bottom than the top. I would like to see a bounce down from there. All right, perhaps come down a little bit, create a little more support, and then try to break the top. All right, that's GBP Canada. And lastly, GBP USD. GBP USD is still showing bullish, but it's, again, it's like a triple top situation here, perhaps even a fourth time, okay? So it's, it could break, but, um, and, and yeah, it could break. Again, the, G, the USD getting weaker um, and the GBP finding its feet, it could break to the top side. I don't think I'm going to be taking the trade. And for the and by the way, next week, next week, I am I am probably trading Monday and Tuesday, and that's it. Maybe I'm trading that. Okay, I'm taking a holiday practically for the week. We will have class on Monday, just to get you guys mindset ready for the week. That's going to be choppy, and I'm not trading uh, for the holidays. Okay. Um, but again, just take notice of this. Since I send out GBP USD quite a bit, just take notice of it. Okay, rejection, 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 rejection. Now, this last rejection was was bounced from this area of support. It didn't go all the way down here, so perhaps it could find support to break to the top. But I would be I, I would have I would be cautious about that. I'll be cautious about that. Um, perhaps it can break more. It has some momentum to go to the upside. Um, I would rather just play the fake out on this, okay? And a fake out on this can give me the pips that I need, uh, even if it keeps then going up afterwards. Okay, that is pretty much it, guys. Let me stop the share. Again, this is Robert Rivera with Trend Training Academy. Uh, remember, again, we're going into the holidays, so the market is going to be a little more predictable. I would say take quick profits. If you win, get out. Again, if you lose, maybe play another one, then that's it. Uh, I don't recommend that you overtrade. And anything that loses you trades, loses you money that you already gained, is overtrading, like I mentioned in my class last time. Again, take care. Have a great weekend. God bless.